if you want to sort the data in the column you have to use the keyword that is order by you can have the expression in order by class is what you need to understand you can specify how exactly your data should get sorted in the column there is no replication so only unique values is what we call it as a distinct this part is very very important hello everyone i welcome all of you to the next chapter that is more on sqls what exactly i will be studying in this chapter sir did we not study everything on the previous chapter which is related to sql right so yes my dear students we have some of the concepts which we have left out so that is what we are going to discuss in this chapter then what is that we are studying in the session let's have a quick look right so this is what we are going to discuss in this session so we are discussing mainly about order by what is that we are mainly discussing about the order by class that is what you need to observe here so we have order by class which will help me to sort my data in a different different way so it can be ascending order it can be descending order then how do i what is the different possibilities that i have to use the order by class is what i'm going to study in detail in this session right so i will be discussing all this topic one by one in the session i want all of you to be very very attentive in the session let me start with the first one so guys why do i have this order by class yes of course we all know that we have studied select clause what is that select clause we have the first clause that is select clause then we have from clause and then we have where clause so in this select clause i can select the column that i want from the table i repeat for all of you i have a table so i have a table i need to select the different columns that i want so here in the select clause i will be specifying which column i want so in the same way i have from clause what will happen in the from clause i have to specify from which table i have to select these columns meanwhile i have where clause where clause will help me if there is any condition if there is any condition i can specify in the where clause so what exactly where clause will do apart from this condition please listen to me carefully in the select class i will be selecting the column so where class will help me to select the particular row so that's what you need to understand so i have one more class that is order by class that is order by class so this order by class will help me to sort the data how exactly it is helping me to sort the data so how many ways i can sort obviously i have two ways ascending as well as descending i will decide in which way that i should sort my data so please listen to me carefully so what is the syntax for that right so let's have a quick look so i will be writing the select class and then column list along with that i will write from class and table name that all of you will be knowing it so then i will write where class if there is any condition i will specify here then the main picture starts here this is what i have to write order by order by is a keyword that you have to specify i repeat for all of you if you want to sort the data in the column you have to use the keyword that is order by right so i will write the order by then after that i have to specify the columns that you want to sort the data in right i have the column in which column you want to sort the data that column name you have to specify here then after that suppose if you don't specify the ascending order or descending order by default it will take ascending order suppose if you want to sort the data in descending order you will be using this keyword that is desc remember if you use the desc in the order by class it means that you need to understand that is in the descending order but if you are using in the separate command that is desc with the table name that will describe your table so we have two different ways please remember if i am writing order by with 
D E S E. It means to say that you are sorting that particular column in the descending order is what you have to understand, right? So let's take a lot of plenty of examples to understand this concepts in depth, right? So this is syntax which will help me to sort the data uh, with one column, right? So meanwhile, I have the syntax to sort the data with multiple columns sort the data with multiple columns leave all these things i have something beautiful if you just look at that you will be able to understand very easily let me not waste your time with all these things let me take you to the look at this query that i have so what is that i have i have select star from data select star from data in the sense what data is all about the name of the table that i have so data is nothing but the name of the table that I have. So please observe the query here. Star, star in the sense I should select all the columns. I have selected all, all the columns. So now please observe. I have order by marks. What exactly order by marks are? I will repeat for all of you. Listen to me carefully. Select star. Select star in the sense I should select all the columns in the table data. So that is what I have to do. So fine, I'm done with that. So order by marks in the sense marks is nothing but the column name. I have to sort the data according to this column. That is what you have to understand, right? So fine, what is that I have done? So I have to sort according to this column. So please observe all my values are sorted. All my values are sorted that is what you have to understand based on this value i will be arranging all the rest of the columns so that's what you need to understand here so this is how i will be starting the odd by class moving on to the next one that i have so what exactly i have so please understand ordering the data on multiple columns in this one i'm just using only one column i'm just sorting only one column i'm sorting only one column based on this column i'm arranging all other column but in the next example please observe i've given more than one column more than one column if i have more than one column in the order by class how exactly it is working let us understand that in detail right so what is the query that i have i have select star from data so fine so this I understood. So let us understand. So what exactly that I have here? Order by section. So please understand order by section ASC. ASC in the sense it should order the data whatever I have in the column section in ascending order. That is what you need to understand. Right? Then after that I have one more column. I am using comma here. I have one more column. So what is the column name that I have? I have marks. Marks should be arranged in descending order that is what you need to understand so fine let's understand how exactly it is working so what is the first column that i have to sort now i have to consider the section first i have to consider the section first so fine so this is the section so i will sort all the data i'll sort all the data in ascending order so a b c so it's in ascending order right so my data is sorted in ascending order so as per this data, everything will be sorted, right? So that is the first thing. Then after that, I have one more marks in descending order, marks in descending order. Please observe. So then how it will sort now? So first I have A, I have A. So for this, for this, it will come to this marks. Marks will be sorted in descending. Marks will be sorted in descending. So you got it. So I have A. So only for this A, the marks will be sorted in descending. So next it will go to the B. I have B. So for this B, the marks will be sorted. Then it will come to C. So the marks will be sorted. So like this, it will sort the data. So first the complete column, whatever I have, so it will sort. Then it will consider this marks. So like that. So column by column, column by column, it will keep on sorting. That is what you have to understand when I have multiple column. I will repeat for all of you one more time. Listen to me. When I have to sort more than one column, the sorting will happen from this side. The sorting will happen from this side. The first column that will be sorted is 
section and then marks will be sorted so how exactly the section will happen so section it will completely sort then after that the marks how exactly so for each and every value that i have so based on that the marks will be sorted so what is that you have given you have given descending so the value will be sorted in descending order so that's what you have to understand right so this is how when you have multiple column in order by class so it works let's the next one that I have is ordering the data on the basis of an expression. So please observe the query carefully. So here I have given the select query. So uh, there is no nothing changed here so that you can observe select roll number, name, grade, section, whatever the column that you wanted to select. So you can give. So there is no issues on that. So in the same way, I will give. So I will give from where you want to select. So you will give from data you will give from data then after that whatever the condition that you want it in where class you can give it so please observe this is very important this part is very very important order by section in ascending and also after that you are giving an expression you are giving an expression what is the expression whatever the marks that you have already in the marks column so you are multiplying that with 0.35 you are multiplying that with a 0.35 so that value whatever you have so you will be sorting that in descending order i will repeat so whatever the whatever the query that you are writing here you finish it so i will not touch that please observe the important part is here what is that you have you can have the expression in order by class is what you need to understand so what expressions are how can i have an expression in the order by class so please observe order by you can have the section the column name that i have is section you have the section column and you are sorting the data in ascending order whatever you have in the section so that is the first sort that you will do then after that so you are you are giving an expression what is that so you have the column name called marks so marks into 0.35 you are multiplying whatever the value that you have inside the marks okay so with 0.35 so then after performing this operation you are sorting that with the descending order that is what you need to observe here so please observe here what is the first one you have section so section is sorted in ascending order a b c so please observe that then after that what is that i have so please understand so i have marks column so this is marks column marks into 0.35 so please observe that right so i have a so whatever i have a so it should be in descending order right so guys i have so 26 24 then again i have 34 so how because it is for b so please observe here i have b till here right so it's in the descending order right so then after that i have c i have c so this is how i will be selecting the order by class and also i will be performing the order by with an expression so this is what you need to understand when it comes to order by right moving on to the next one specifying custom sort order specifying custom sort order in the sense what sir you can specify how exactly your data should get sorted in the column which should come in the beginning which should come in the second one which should come in the third one you can customize your table data you can customize the values whatever you have inside the column so how exactly we can do that sir so just have a look now so guys look at the query before you look at the table you will understand it very clearly select star from data select star from data what is the data data is a table name star in the sense what all the columns whatever you have inside the table you are trying to select that right so after that what is that you have odd by field odd by field that is what you need to understand so guys odd by field so please observe odd by field please observe project is a column name odd by field observe project is a column name that i am giving here then after that first i have evaluated first i have evaluated then i have pending then i have submitted then i have assigned 
So I want the data in this particular order. First I want evaluated, then pending, then submitted, then assigned. I want the data in this order. So let's check how exactly this query is working here. So please observe, I have evaluated. Yes or no? Yes, I have evaluated here. In which column? In the project column. In which column I have? In the project column. So please observe here, this is what I have. I have the column name. This is where I can specify the column name. In which column? you are trying to sort. So that column name you have to mention. So first one that I have is evaluated. I have sorted it. What is the next one that I have? Pending. So I have pending. Next one, submitted. I have submitted. Then I have assigned in the last. So this is how I can customize my sorting. This is how I can customize my sorting is what you need to understand, right? So moving on to the next one that I have, aggregate functions. So guys, what exactly this aggregate functions uh, I have uh, multiple values in my table I have multiple values in my table so with the help of this multiple values I want to find out the aggregate result out of this multiple values say for example uh, I need to calculate the average of the given number so how do I calculate the average of a given number so for that, I have a separate function. So I need to calculate the sum of the entire column. So how do I calculate? So for that, I have a function. So I need to calculate the number of rows that I have in the column or in the table. Please understand, I need to calculate the number of rows that I have in the table. So how do I calculate that? For that, I have a function called count. So like this, I have different, different functions, which is already predefined which will help me to deal with multiple values to sum up, right? So what exactly it is, uh, let me discuss that in detail one by one, right? So before that, please understand what is distinct and what is all. So distinct in the sense, this option causes a group of function to consider only distinct values of arguments expression. Distinct values in the sense, there is no replication. So only unique values is what we call it as a distinct. All in the sense, this option causes a group of functions to consider all the values, including duplicate values. We have two things that you have to remember. One is distinct, another one is all. So first you remember, we have two things, two kind of values. What is that? One is distinct, another one is all. Distinct in the sense what? Distincts are the unique values. Unique values in the sense what? There is no redundancy. Say for example, I'm, I have a column called names. In that column, I can have the Ravi two times. Suppose if I have two times, I will take it only one time. So this one time value, whatever I have Ravi one time, so that is what I will call it as a distinct. Suppose if I take all the values, whatever I have, even though the value is replicated, that is duplicated. So then I will call that which comes under all. So all will help me to include all the values, including the duplicate. But distinct will take only unique values. That is what you need to understand. So guys, by this, I have come to an end. In the next session, I will be discussing all the aggregate functions that I have in this chapter. So keep waiting for me. Until then, please practice all the order by class that I have with the SQL queries. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.